Listen, I understand that I'm late, but bear with me, all right? Hey guys, what's up? It's me, the Cubing Bear, and welcome to The Road to World Record Average, Episode 6. So, we're almost at the end of Season 1, so, uh, yeah, you guys, it's been a long season. Not really, it's been only half a year, but let's try to finish strong. So for this month, I have been working on my inspection in terms of trying to see the cross and my first F2L pair. In my practice, I have seen about 12% of my solves inquire this skill, but it hasn't been 100% accurate. Yet. Let's get on to the stats for this month. So for this month, we have done a total of 200 solves. So yeah, moving on that it's obviously not as much as other ones are, I will admit. But coming back to LA and family and stuff has gone in the way of practice, but you know, family stuff, it's the holidays, I want to spend time with them. But what's interesting from these solves is the times. Let's take a look at this. Our total average for this month was an 18.13 second solves. Well, yeah, an 18.83, wait, 18.13 average. Average of 3, 14.56. Average of 5, 15.06. Average of 12, 16.07. Average of 100, 17.81. My worst time this month was a 29.92. And my best time, which is also my PB, is a 10.35. So, yeah. There are some amazing improvements that we have done this month, and I'm really happy with myself. And, honestly... I'm just really surprised that I was able to reach a 10 seconds off. I feel like I'm really close to reaching the sub 10 barrier, but there are some things that I noticed that stopped me from getting to that level. And I want to talk to you guys about what I'm doing wrong so I can improve. The main thing that I noticed is actually my speed. I know, I'm actually not fast enough to take the long way and doing two look OLO and then full PLO. So in this situation, people will actually have two options. They could either find a way to get my TPS faster or become more efficient. Two good choices and most people will want to go with being more efficient but I think that for my situation I'm gonna work on getting faster TPS before becoming more efficient and here's why. There is a limit as to how efficient someone can be and because there's so many algorithms there's just a limit of how many algorithms you can learn. And because of that your efficiency is kind of determined by those algorithms kind of but you can also learn intuitive and all that stuff but even if you're super efficient, but you turn slowly, you're never going to be able to get to that world record stage. j kind of touched on this in his latest video that I saw. He said that he talked about how being efficient is actually better when you're turning slow. But what if you're too slow? That's what my thoughts on this are. So if I become faster, I'll be able to go into what I call the champ zone. And the champ zone is the range in which you have the potential to get the world record. If you actually put yourself in an algorithm at, at um, 3.54 times 55 and divide that by your average, you actually see how many moves that you actually need to make. The champ zone right now is currently in the top 9. Only the top 9 people actually have the potential to get the world record average or the world record single also. So currently, I'm nowhere near that, but I know that if I do want to get to that stage, I need to get my faster TPS before going out to learning new algorithms and actually becoming more efficient with how I solve. I don't actually know how to get faster with my TPS, but I'll be doing a lot of research and experimentations for December, and I'll definitely give you guys an update on this for the next episode. In conclusion to this, in conclusion to this episode, we have done awesome improvements, and I'm honestly getting faster, and I'm really happy to see the improvement and taking you guys along this journey with me. But I also want to thank you guys for all the support you guys have shown me, and really, you guys are the reason why I make videos like these. I'm not even kidding. I would just keep this on private and loan on low key. Not even kidding. Anyway, guys, that is about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to go ahead and give it a like. Make sure to subscribe for more. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome videos, and I'll see you all in the next video. It's the Human Bear out. Thank you.